lifted as breaking back over the support. This was my first entry on SoFi this morning, right here, right over 614. 615 entry, I felt really good about it until I checked the time. I mean, hey, you know, SoFi was coming off good news today, right? It's possible it could bounce right from here. Awesome. I mean, every trade begins with the entry. So I need to have confidence taking the trade. But we're not out of the doghouse unless if this makes a really strong reaction off this level. I said just a moment ago that I, I checked the time and that skeeved me out. I was like, oh, geez, look at the time. Well, that's like right around 9.50 in the morning, right? It, even if we undercut the reversal time, meaning that normally reversal time is 10.30, if we expect that to be sooner and think that's even 10.15, that means that I still have 25 minutes to go until potential reversal time. So this would be a really early bounce here based off just general cyber clock rules. So you know what? I took the trade, but I'm not going to you know play loose on this. I got to expect a really strong reaction because if I don't get that really strong reaction going up, odds are I'm still going to get a really strong reaction over time. Just not the direction that I was looking for. So, you know, it led to an initial bounce, like 10 cents. But the more tested support, it, it eventually broke under it. I got stopped out break even right here at the time once it pulled back on this next test. So thankfully, I got out before it really crashed. But, you know, the more times it needles that support level, it will break it. Now, at that point, you know, hey, there were other trades out there today, you know, a bunch of us did really well on the stock Sun, right? So perhaps if we have time, we'll cover this trade. Sun ran up really well. I missed out on this whole trade. I just want to let you know that. So for anyone here that may have missed out on this trade and were like, oh man, I, I, I didn't catch the big one. You don't need to catch the big one. All you need to catch is an easy one, a very straightforward one, one that applies to our rule set and gives you a good reaction. So for me, all right, I got stopped out break even on SoFi here from 614, 615, but when it comes down, I'm watching it at the next level, right at six. So I'm applying the same strategy as I did off 614 here at six bucks. Thankfully, and this is the easy part here, but thankfully, once it broke under and over from six, and once it broke back over six, I got in, it led to a good reaction pretty shortly after. So I ended up taking half my trade out at 612, and then I kept half in just to see it try and break higher. I ended up getting out on the second half at 622. Still left some on the table, but it's money that I didn't have to begin my morning, right? You know, my P&L is actually down going into the market open. I took a couple tiny losses on the stock UBX because that was looking so strong heading into the open. I was expecting the pop and the higher high. So you know what? To start my regular session trading off, my back was against the wall slightly. Not a lot, but no one likes to be negative. So on the SoFi trade there, I just took a clean trade. It was, an, it was a straightforward entry based off what we teach in class and what we go through here in Traders Talk each and every week. It may look to make that bounce coming up soon from 614, especially if the markets could look to make a nice bounce coming up. Watching the SPY. I'm a Cyber Group member today. Just click the link below and receive all these amazing products and a world of knowledge for just $9. Do it today.